Welcome, Druid Mechanics here, and in this little mini-series, we're going to learn about the reversal of time in video games. Now, this is a very common mechanic that you see in a lot of video games, and a lot of people would like to know how to do this. Uh, so I have compiled a short little mini-series here showing us how we can actually implement this uh, using C++ for the algorithm side of things. And what we have here is we have a reverse time component that can be added to any blueprint. So I have a blueprint here I created called reverse time mesh and it basically has a static mesh and it has a reverse time component added to it. And so all of these that you see here are reverse time meshes which have the reverse time component. So I can go ahead and click play and I can go ahead and just destroy this configuration here. And you'll see I have a recorded time at the top left of the seconds recorded. Now if I start reversing time you're gonna see these objects begin to go back to where they were before. So let's go ahead and build this back up and you'll see that everything is exactly as it started. So this reverse time system is nice and robust in that you can reverse time and then you can let time go forward again and just keep going back and forth like that because we are saving not only location and rotation information but also linear and angular velocity for the given mesh so we are able to um, get all that information back and set those properties just as they were before. So we're going to get into how to create this system in uh, the next few videos and so um, what I'd like to do is introduce you to the theory of how to reverse time and uh, the data structures needed for this, the containers needed, and uh, then we're going to dive into C++ and create this system. So we'll see you in the next video.